All right, so here's a question about radicals or square roots. They want us to simplify this expression. And the way they say it is the expression square root of 72, or radical 72, minus 3 times the square root of 2, written in simplest radical form, is... Well, here they mean to rewrite this in such a way that it's more condensed or simplified. And, of, of course, that's sometimes a misnomer there because simplest might end up looking more complicated. They just want us to reduce the number of terms. This is a term here, and so is this. They're separated by the subtraction sign. So the idea is with terms, if you can simplify them into one term, then you've managed to simplify the whole expression. So you have a term and then a term here. And we're going to use a basic property in radicals that says, let's say you have something which is like the square root of a, a number. If you multiply it by the square root of b, right, this is equal to the square root of the product of a times b. As a quick example, if you might not remember this, you can always test it with a simpler case. The square root of 4 times the square root of 4, for example, does that equal the square root of 4 times 4, right? Here, the square root of a times the square root of a should equal the square root of the product of a and b. So the square root of 4 is 2 times the square root of 4, which is 2. And does that equal the square root of 4 times 4? Well, yes, because the square root of 4 times 4 is the square root of 16. And the square root of 16, that equals 4, just as this product here equals 4. So that checks out. And we can use that move to simplify the square root of 72. My thinking when I'm breaking these square roots down is to look for factors of a number that are a perfect square. And here, because I want to be able to combine these two, I need a square root of 2. The idea is that, let's say I have the square 3 times the square root of 2 plus 5 times the square root of 2 plus 6 times the square root of 3. Here's an example. I can combine these two terms because they both are counting the number of square roots of 2. It's just like if I had 3x plus 5x, right? This, this term, this piece of this term right here, the square root of 2, is like in both expressions here, both terms here, excuse me, so I have 8 times the square root of 2. But I can't add it to this term over here because that's in terms of the square root of 3. Just as if I had x's and y's, I can't really combine them. So my goal is, when I'm simplifying this, to get the square root of 72 written in terms of the square root of 2. So I can actually combine this stuff.